All right, this is a cool one. Real quick, I'm gonna show you how to use Browser Sync to automatically refresh your browser when you're working on WordPress locally on your computer. And this saves a bunch of time, so whenever you're making edits to a template or to your JavaScript or to some CSS, the uh, Browser Sync will automatically refresh the page and you can, you can see it reload right in front of your eyes every time you hit save. So uh, first things first, uh, so here's my local install of our blog and so I'm gonna, I fired up my command line and I navigated to that directory. So wherever the root directory is, navigate to that in the terminal. You wanna make sure that you have uh, Node installed because what we're gonna do is we're gonna use something called Browser Sync and we're gonna install that globally so you'll be able to fire it up at any time. So let's check this out. So to check out your Node version, you'll just do Node-V and uh, also you'll need something called NPM and it's a Node Package Manager and it's basically like a library of all these really cool packages and one of those is Browser Sync. It allows us to install it easily so let's check that out npm tash v i've got both installed um, if you need help installing node or npm head on over to npmjs.com slash git npm and just pause this head over there download node and npm together and install it finally once it's installed uh, you'll need to install browser sync and again i'm going to double check just to make sure it's on here and yes 2.24.4 um, so and to install this what you're going to want to do is come on over to npmjs.com slash package slash browser sync and you'll use this command npm i browser hyphen sync and then you'll want to do a dash g to install it globally um, I've already got it installed so I'm not going to do that okay now to the magic uh, I'm going to come back over to this home page. You'll notice I'm at WP Launcher hyphen blog um, and then 8888 is my port. I'm using MAMP Pro. So if you're using localhost, this also works. Um, all you're going to do, it would look like, it would look something like localhost 8888 if you're using, just using that, okay? And that's fine. I'll show you here in a second where it matters. So once you've got everything installed, you're gonna just type in browser sync. Because remember, browser sync's installed globally now on your computer if you followed these steps correctly. Start, and then you do uh, hyphen hyphen proxy. And then here, I'm gonna type in WP Launcher blog 8888. If you were using localhost, you would just do localhost 8888. Um, and then you're gonna type dash dash files and we want all files so what it's this is basically going to do is browser sync is going to watch all files and every time you hit save it's going to check to see if there's any changes and then it's going to refresh the browser if there are changes and one other uh, option I want to set is when you use browser sync this little notification comes up each time it refreshes and it says browser sync connected and it's really annoying, so I'm going to turn that off using this no notify. And there's a whole bunch of options if you go over to the browser sync documentation um, that you can set. Okay, so I'm going to hit that, and then it'll automatically pop up a new browser. And you'll notice I'm at localhost 3002. You'll probably be at localhost 3000. I've got a couple other um, instances of this running for some other stuff I'm working on. Um, so now if I bring my uh, editor back here, okay, and so we've got everything up and running, so let's test this out and make sure it's working. I'm going to scroll on down and pick something in my inspector. Um, okay, and look at the style here, title font H2. Okay, and if I copy that and make sure I go into my style CSS file of the active theme, and if I just drop in something like font size 12 pixels and hit save, it should automatically update it. And there you go. I didn't have to come over and refresh or anything. Um, depending on what CSS I've got here, 
Oh, look at that. That's so cool. And let's let's make this really big now. Just a lot faster. So that's it. Super simple to get Browser Sync set up for your local uh, WordPress install, and it'll really speed up your development.